camera decided to cut off on me. Sorry about that. Anyways, we're driving though. Got my dude in the back. We're out here doing our thing. But uh, so right off the rip, you guys, uh, this turbo is very nice to drive, man. You, you, you're, you're talking overall just drivability, especially if you do a lot of city driving, stop and go driving, it's good. It's not super loud and annoying, right? Uh, I know if you have, depending on your tuning setup, you can, uh, turn it down. Uh, depending on your tuning setup, you can uh, get the whistle tune, right? To where your turbo, essentially, the VGTs close uh, to allow the whistle sound to like come out of the exhaust, right? Uh, which is cool, right? But it gets kind of annoying after a while. Uh, that's just me, honestly. That's why when I first had mine, on here i had it for like maybe a week and i was like uh, i think i'm i think i'm good i think i'm over it uh you know what i'm saying i know duramax's power strokes depending on what turbo you get you can pretty much have that all the time which is cool uh you know those are like signature noises for those trucks or sounds for those trucks but for cummins i like a little mix of both you know what i'm saying i like the uh the throaty quote unquote tractor sound right you know what i'm saying so i really enjoy this turbo for that uh, i think my number one favorite thing about this turbo setup right now is just the drivability man the uh 64 mil is just a nice driving turbo i'm sure you guys can hear a little bit while i drive uh it's a nice driving turbo man the boost is always readily available like as soon as i touch the pedal it's going it's spooling man and that's really what you want so like i'll show you guys now we're, we're getting on the highway so we're getting on the highway right now, and uh, you can see over here, boost is at about 13 PSI, and that's me maybe a quarter throttle in, 63 miles an hour, you know what I'm saying? I'll make my way over to the left lane so you guys can uh, see a little pull, give you guys something to watch. I see that right there. She jumps up to 20, it was at 19 PSI a second ago. Uh, so right now we are cruising at about 73 miles an hour. So just say 70 miles an hour, uh, no acceleration, right? And she is sitting at about two, three PSI. Now the minute I tap the pedal to accelerate, which is gonna be right now, so watch this. 15, like it's instant, man. When I say instant, I mean like instantaneous. Boost is there, ready. Uh, it's just, I'm telling you guys, it's just a really good turbo, man. So, and then I have my mechanical boost gauge up there just so you guys can see. So, uh, it's not going to want to focus. All right, so you can see there, if I get on it, she jumps up, you know what I'm saying? So, it's just a fun driving truck, man. Uh, do I like this turbo more than the S369? I do in different ways. Um, what I will say about this turbo, and this is just natural because it's, it's a 64 mil, right? And it's a VGT, is that this turbo does not hit, it does not hit as hard as the 369, right? Now you guys, now you gotta see right here, you guys, so obviously we're going kind of fast, but boost is chilling, 15 PSI. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna change lanes, boom. She's floating, y'all. I mean, this thing is just the ultimate, ultimate driving experience right here, y'all. But what I was saying was, in terms of if there was a, a downfall to this turbo, it's just being that it's a, it can't, it's a 64 mil, right? So it doesn't hit as hard as my S369 that I had from Smedin. Uh, but that's perfectly normal though, right? Because it's, a, it's naturally a smaller turbo, right? And like I said in my video when I installed it, which you guys didn't see, I would highly encourage you to see it. Uh, the 64 mil is like your all around turbo, right? You can tow with it, easily tow with this turbo. Good EGTs, um, all the whole shebang, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So this is just a very good setup. Uh, if you're just looking for a replacement to your stock turbo. So if you want a replacement to, to your stock turbo, without having to, you know, get up the tune updates and you know all that stuff. Uh, it's just you get it, you install it and you start driving and enjoy the truck, okay? I have not got a tune update yet just because I wanted to see how it drove with the current tune file I have, which I'm really loving it right now. 
But I think I still am going to reach out to uh, Dirty Diesel Customs uh, with CCS tuning and see if I'm about getting a uh, new file specifically for this turbo size, all that good stuff, just to kind of dial it in even better, if that's possible. But right now, though, if I couldn't, if I wasn't able to get a new tune file, I would not have any issues with this turbo, with the way the truck runs right now. Uh, I have not drove it enough in terms of fuel economy. Like right now, I'm on the highway. Uh, let's see, MPG. Current MPGs right now, 20. We're going slightly downhill too, by the way. But right now, we're sitting at about 21, 20 miles per gallon. Uh, so far, at least from my eye, eyeball testing, it looks like I've lost maybe about one mile per gallon putting the 35s on going from the stock 31 inch tires to the 35 inch mud tires lost about a mile per gallon which i'm perfectly fine with and it's perfectly normal obviously you have a bigger diameter wheel it weighs more all that stuff right so that's just perfectly normal y'all but we're going downhill so i know you guys just love to see the boost right man but right now we're just cruising we're not i'm not getting in it we're just maintaining uh steady speed 81 miles an hour 80 miles an hour and she's sitting at 14 15 pounds of boost just just sitting there right if i let off of it obviously it's going to drop down uh so th this is man i'm telling you y'all it's a really nice turbo really nice y'all and i also just because you know it's me i went ahead and turned the tune up to tune four because i was on tune three uh shift on the fly i went ahead and bumped it up to tune four just to see how she rides with a little bit more juice and she rides really good y'all um, this turbo definitely put a different perception in my mind uh, for the VGT turbos y'all because I'm gonna be honest before I, the only VGT turbos I've ran was the stock ones and we know the stock ones are inferior uh, they don't make enough boost the only good thing you get out of them is they spool quickly from the stop and you have uh, the exhaust brake right but I am a now I can say like I'm a living witness and you know I, I can attest that a rework or a modified uh, OEM style whole set VGT turbo that gets bigger right they oversize it to a 64 mil and they overhaul it you know, all that stuff right castings for the uh, turbine housing I can attest that it, it makes a difference man it really does you know what I'm saying uh, even something as simple as the inside of the compressor outlet for the uh, boost pipe, right? So on the Ryan's diesel, and I wish I would have filmed it, but the Ryan's diesel one, it's smooth. Like they go in there and they like, I don't know if they use a carbide bit or what, but they go in there and they and they smooth it out and it it sounds and runs awesome, man. I mean, they did a phenomenal job with this turbo. Y'all, so let y'all check it out. Another thing too, man, I'm a huge fan of when it comes to uh, when it comes to this turbo setup, right? It's it's not super quiet, but it's also not annoyingly loud. And I'm gonna just be real with y'all, right? So like, obviously, we all love a diesel because of the sound a diesel sounds like, right? And makes and all that stuff like that. But 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 I will say, as time goes on, you know. You get a little older it kind of gets old you know what i'm saying like sometimes people like to put the mufflers or the the whatchamacallits on it right i have a straight pipe and at this moment my exhaust i still haven't connected it yet because i'm waiting on a piece to come in i'm gonna reconnect it so there's like a little bit of a gap underneath my down pipe to the rest of the exhaust so the exhaust isn't even fully connected right but it's still not loud it's not annoyingly loud i mean you guys can hear me talk right now and i'm not like I'm talking somewhat normal. You don't have to hear me yelling and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You guys hear the exhaust. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's one of those things where it's like I can drive in. I can drive in the truck. It's not crazy or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not hollering to have a conversation no more. I will say with the uh, 369 non VGT, it was louder. Uh, the exhaust was louder. It was a lot more throatier, a lot more raunchier uh stuff like that so with this one i it's a little bit more toned down although i had the factory intake on the uh 369 sxe but this one i have the banks intake so it sucks more air in and the manifold is slightly higher flowing than the uh, smetting manifold so i'm perfectly in love with the the sound the performance the everything the aesthetics the way it looks man i mean this thing is a winner y'all it's a winner i'll let y'all see the engine in case you did not see 
the video. Oh, I have remote start on, so it, I pop the hood and automatically turn the truck off. My bad. But uh, it's so aesthetically pleasing to see this when I pop the hood. You know what I'm saying? You come over here. Let me get y'all unhooked from this so I can get y'all up close and personal. You come up in here, right? You see the banks right there. Boom, in your face. Like, no joke, right? Follow that bad boy down. You come down there. You see the turbo chilling right there in all this gloriness, right? The only thing I don't like about the 6, 7 Cummins turbos, man, is that they hide them. You know, I want to see that thing, right? Uh, that's one of the perks of having a second-gen swap is you can see the turbo because <laughs> it sits up high. But little rumor and it's not a rumor it's a fact but if you do compounds right you will have a turbo sitting right there right there so you can see it enjoy it every time you pop the hood look at it eye candy all that good stuff right tbd or tbc to be continued but uh this banks man this banks intake y'all it's it's good it's this thing sucks air y'all uh it really does this thing man it is a ripper y'all so definitely enjoy it you know what i'm saying but we're about to dip out I cracked the window so y'all can hear it, all right? So we're going up a little incline right now. Love it. Just absolutely love it. Super tight over here. It's just a, I'm telling you guys, man, it's just a fun, it's a fun driving turbo, y'all. Uh, definitely, definitely recommend it, you guys. And I'll put the link, like I said earlier, I'll have the link to their website. Uh, definitely check them out. They have this option, the 64 mil, and then they have the, uh, they have the 64 mil option, and then they have the, they, I think they call it like the Pro Master or something, but basically it's like the stock turbo, except they, they overhaul it, modify it. So basically, you're dropping stock, right? But uh, yeah, man, this is it. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video, the review. If there's anything I didn't talk about in regards to the turbo, please let me know. Um, if you're watching this and you have not watched the uh, install video where I installed the turbo, the Steve Speed manifold, and the Banks cold air intake, please watch that video, you guys. I'll have that somewhere carted up here in the corner. So you can watch it, uh, that way you get caught up on the backside. But this combo, it's money. It's, it's money, his bread. So, all right, y'all, so I had to refilm this part real quick because it, was, it wasn't good on film. The camera was shaking a bunch. I didn't like the way it looked. But long story short, I have to give props, credit to Ryan's Diesel Services. Uh, they did a phenomenal job with this turbo. I, now I know why the Duramax dudes run their turbos. Uh, they do Duramax Cummins and Power Stroke Turbos. I highly encourage you to check them out, you guys. Uh, somebody might say, well, how, does they, how do they compare to the Fleece, uh, Fleece Cheetah? Because everybody knows the Fleece Cheetah is like the gold standard when it comes to, you know, the 6.7 Cummins uh, Turbos or even 5.9s too. Um, it's good. It's, 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 it's damn good, right? And I've never ran a Cheetah myself, but what I can tell you is that you are getting, if not equal my personal opinion, I think you're getting better product quality out of the Ryan's Diesel Services Turbo. Uh, it's made in the USA, based out of Wisconsin. They do everything in-house. Uh, you know, it's very easy to go online and see these companies selling these turbo kits, and they like, they say, oh, they billet wheel. You know, you see billet wheel, and that's it. But you know, these companies, they order their wheels from China. They don't weigh them. Like, they just slap them together, say it's a reworked turbo, but it's really not. Uh, Ryan's Diesel legitimately reworks their turbos. Uh, Shout out to Truckmaster, JW Montoya, Truckmaster. If you guys don't watch his channel, it's his Duramax based channel, but he has tons of content on there. He has a video of him going to Ryan's Diesel Services out in Wisconsin. And uh, they basically made a video of them rebuilding or building a Duramax Turbo. Uh, and they go in depth for everything. They talk about the weak spots. They talk about what can, what they can do to make the Turbo better. Like, it's stuff, behind the scenes stuff that you won't see with majority of these uh, companies making these Turbos or just parts in general for your trucks, right? So, when I saw those videos and then JW threw some on his Duramaxes that he had, his LMM, his LMLs, I was like, okay, well, let me check their website out. And I, they had Cummins Turbos and I was like, okay, now we cooking. And I got, I ordered one. We got one. We got one here. So shout out to Ryan's Diesel, Tur Ryan's Diesel Service Turbos. 
Uh, I'm just extremely impressed with the quality of the turbo. They provide everything you need, all the hardware, uh, even give you a brand new speed sensor, right? So, one, you're supporting your country. You're supporting a small, and they're, you know, they're a, it's a father and son, right? The son has the turbo side of the company, Ryan's Diesel Services. Uh, just a small, I say small, but they probably aren't, but just a, a homegrown American blue collar family, right? Uh, and I like supporting that type of stuff. Like, that's where I like to go at. That's why I'm putting so much effort and juice into their product because I don't get paid for this. I don't get a lick from this. I'm just putting y'all on to something good, right? Everybody too much settles for the fleece cheetah because they, the forums, Facebook, whatever else is out there, right? Everybody just says fleece cheetah, fleece cheetah. Well, I don't know about y'all, but the fleece cheetahs are expensive. Uh, they're like four grand right now. I think I looked them up the other week, last week, and it was like 3,800 bucks. Ryan's Diesel is going to beat that cost-wise, and they're going to beat it in terms of quality product, right? Uh, you're talking to the people who deal with these turbos when you call them. You're not just talking to a sales rep, a tech rep, anything like that, right? So just food for thought, you guys, man, but I just had to shout them out. So I'm going to end this video the right way because I did not like how my ending on my outro ended on a video while I was driving just because it was shaky. It looked like crap. So thank you guys for joining us so much. Until next time, make sure you subscribe. Drop a comment. I want to hear what you guys got to say. Tell me what you think about the turbo. I tried my best filming, driving, you know, filming and driving a, a 3500 dually. It is not the easiest thing, especially when you have to only two hands. So if the film was a little shaky, I apologize, or the road noise, I apologize in advance. Uh, but thank you guys so much for joining. I always appreciate when you come through. Be on the lookout. We're going to have some more content coming. Uh, I have a, We have suspension parts. They're, 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 they're pouring in. They're pouring in, all right? Got on the phone. Got something going for a track bar. You guys are going to really like that video when we do a track bar. So we're going to have a front track bar coming in for the truck. Uh, got to order U-joints for the front axles because it's going to be changing the U-joints and ball joints in conjunction with each other. And then we have some steering parts coming in as well. So definitely be on the lookout. We're going to get this truck super right. It's going to be riding like a Cadillac, hopefully, by the time I'm done with this. So thank you guys so much. Until next time, y'all take care. Be safe. Peace out. And I will see you guys later.